Let's make the boost converter idea visual with a simple analogy. Picture a small water pump that can push water only up to a maximum pressure of 10 pascals. It's feeding a cylinder with a weighted piston. As water flows in, the piston rises, and the higher it climbs, the greater the pressure beneath it. But once the piston's weight creates 10 pascals of back pressure, the pump stalls. The motor is still spinning, but no more water enters. It's hit its limit. Now here's the puzzle. How do you lift that same piston higher without upgrading the pump? What trick lets you push past that 10 pascal ceiling? Here's one idea. Add a water wheel connected to a heavy flywheel. At first, the flywheel almost blocks the flow. Water can move only if the wheel starts rotating. When the pump turns on, the flow pushes the wheel, slowly building momentum. As it speeds up, water finally reaches the piston and lifts it toward the usual 10 pascal limit. But here's the clever part. Even though the pump itself can't push any harder, the flywheel can. Its stored energy keeps forcing water into the piston, driving the pressure beyond the pump's own limit, maybe 15, maybe 20 pascals, purely from momentum. Then the cycle flips. Once the flywheel runs out of stored energy, the higher pressure on the piston side pushes water back, making the wheel spin in reverse. The pressures head toward balance, but the wheel overshoots. It pulls too much water out. Now the pressure difference flips the other way, and the wheel slows, stops, and starts spinning forward again. This back and forth repeats endlessly. Water sloshes between the two sides, and energy keeps shifting between the flywheel's rotation and the piston's pressure. That oscillation captures the essence of a boost converter, trading stored energy back and forth to reach voltages higher than the source ever could on its own. Now replace the water system with its electrical twin. The battery is our pump, your steady voltage source. The flywheel becomes the inductor, storing energy in a magnetic field. And the weighted piston, that's the capacitor, storing charge, its voltage rising like the piston's height. Once you connect them, current starts ebbing and flowing, charging, releasing, reversing. That's the foundation of the boost converter. This is just the starting point. Watch the full video to see how the real circuit pulls off the magic.